Hello, everybody. Uh, the reason I'm saying that, I forgot to start the recording of the show. Well, because I came back on, I had everything turned off. I was ready to go to sleep. I was ready to give up on it, okay? And all of a sudden, I was working, so I put everything, got everything back. I thought I didn't have this up, right, you know? And I didn't, and then I found that I just didn't start the recording. But they started the recording now, folks. We had technical difficulties tonight because this wouldn't happen. Yeah. Hello. Uh, go ahead. Anyway, get with your sled story because I don't, I don't know from sleds. I, I'm sorry, Alex. No, that's hey, okay. Uh, but, it's all right. I but, want your sled my, my story. Whole point, yeah. My whole point is, look at these sleds. Oh, those are incredible sleds. Thank you. I thank you, thank you. <laughs> they're, they're they're incredible sleds. <laughs> oh shit. It made a lot of you noise. You want to see an incredible penis? No, wait a minute. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> I have sleds also, but they're about twice as big as yours. And how much did they cost? I don't know. I think we we got them like two, 20 years ago or 30 years ago or something. Now, if it said something like Rosebud on it, I would be then amazed by it. All right. <laughs> well, that's right. Uh, ours were not skids. They're toboggans. What's the difference between a sled and a toboggan? I don't know. No runners. No runners on the toboggan. What? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you the difference between a sled no and runners. a toboggan. Yeah. You, you, for you to have a sled and 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 to to you know be able to you know sled to be able to work on that, you had you have to have lots of lots of like compact snow and ice and you know but you had to have you know the sled is a is like a rail system like to, to be able to like you know use rails mm -hmm. but a toboggan is just this it's 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 plastic bullshit Whoa. are you calling toboggans bullshit <laughs> are you calling no, toboggans no. bullshit because here's the thing here's the thing we may have a lot of toboggan fans out there right now <laughs> watching this program who are now saying, that son of a bitch, God damn him. He's putting down our precious toboggans. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right, look, here, here, here they are. And I suppose there are two of you, right? I've been drinking, Alex. No, I know. <laughs> That goes without saying, okay, yeah. but, but but what I'm saying yeah, that's, is that's it, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and there are two sleds there. So there yeah, apparently well, are two of you that are gonna use the sleds. Yeah. Um I, I will put bows on them and well, because like we're due for a white Christmas, so why not have toboggans under the tree? Wait, I thought these were sleds. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I, yeah, you're right. They're and I sled. don't. And I don't know from sleds. And I'm telling you, that's a sled. No, I, I feel like such an asshole, Alex. I'm sorry. Well, don't feel like an asshole. We'll leave that to but, other people who call this show. But but look, we have. They're so well made. Look, what? these things. Mm -hmm. These things like look. They say lifetime. They say what? Lifetime. lifetime. Lifetime warranty. Oh, lifetime warranty. Do you see them? Yeah. 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 Um, now, does that mean, now, the, at lifetime warranty, now, here's the question. That is an item which, technically, and I, and I don't know much about sleds, but let me just give my opinion. Okay. Let's talk about it, yeah. There is a chance with a sled you could get killed. Absolutely, yeah, you yeah, do yeah. kill. So, so when you get a lifetime guarantee, <laughs> it really isn't worth the paper it's written on because if that thing fails and you're dead, you're never going to collect. Uh, you're right, yeah. but but it'll be fun. It'll be fun to go down. down. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, I, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, it, it, it'll still be a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, 
I'm, I'm glad that you're ready for you know very Gentile Christmas. You know. Yeah, I, I, I am. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean. All right. Do you know? Do you know this is true? Now look at this, guys. Oh, well, Let me get this well, here. Well, you got to hold it up in front of the camera. You got to hold it in front of the camera. We can't see it. You have to hold it in front of the camera. Now back it off. I'll help him. What is? What is it? Can't get it up. There you go. Can't get it up. Oh, that's a. Tub. Oh, that's the top. Now I. Oh, uh, those I, that I could go for. That's cool. And you, you put like five people on it or three people on yeah. it. Yeah, it's not like a piece, two pieces of plastic death you nah. have there, you know. This is a serious thing that you could know. Uh, it's a but you, you really is. You, you have to, you know, you probably, five people on this. You now. probably can't buy one of those unless you speak <laughs> Swedish, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so. Uh, but uh, I'm so happy for you and your t t sleds there, I guess. I, you know. Yeah, they kind of look like they could be coffins, don't they? <laughs> coffins? <laughs> now, Charlie, you must have gone on this stuff when you were in Chicago. When I was growing up, I have a yeah. 50 years I haven't been on a sled. <laughs> you people you people are going to gasp when I say this. Uh, but the, And this is, this is absolutely the truth. I think I need a little more light here is what my problem is. Mm. Okay, well, this whole thing got turned around wrong and here we go here we go there we go a little more light let's get better a little more nice. light there okay i i don't want too much light because if i get too much light then uh i wash out but anyway you're not gonna believe this but i think until i was about maybe 11 years old i never saw snow what? Oh, you live in San Francisco, yeah. Yeah, and and I only saw snow because my my parents, my father played in Reno, Nevada, at a place called the Mapes Hotel, and my father loved this restaurant was that was at the top of Mount Rose, which was a mountain between Reno and Lake Tahoe, mm. and they had a, a a restaurant there called the Christmas Tree, which I still remember as being the best steaks I ever ate. And my father went up there once, and it was full of snow. And I, this was the first time I ever saw snow. And then I never saw snow again until it snowed one day in San Francisco, Ooh. if you can believe that, you know? So um, that was kind of interesting. That was kind of fascinating. Uh, and, uh, you know, so that's my... Uh, uh, now nothing works here. Oh, the lights don't turn on, the lights don't turn off. That's wonderful. Ah, oh, boy. Wow. Yeah, just the whole thing went off. Yeah. This was, uh, this was, it's ridiculous. It is just ridiculous. Gremlins? You got huh? gremlins in the system? I got gremlins in the system. Yeah, there's no question about it. Hey, hey, Charlie? Yep. Yeah. yeah, last time we were we were on on together, I got I got you upset. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. No, I'm no, sorry I, I got think, upset. Yeah, I mean, but but you know, like I I respect everything that you do. I I, I don't know. I I don't I don't want to get you upset. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Well. You know, political discussions are like that. That's why my family doesn't have political discussions anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. There's no pol politics at Thanksgiving or oh, okay. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see here. All of a sudden, it's working now, I think. Let me see. Yeah, now it's working. <laughs> it's just fucking piece of crap. <clears throat> you know. This is this is the top of the line company, by the way, for video equipment and, and for for podcasting, and they're a pretty good company. I have a lot of their. This is an Elgato screen here, and uh, it's an El. What else do I have? Anything else? It's Elgato. No, I don't think so. But anyway, so I don't I don't know what happened there. But we'll, we'll we'll fix it by tomorrow. Hmm. So I'm going to watch a 
a very small show, mm-hmm. Connecticut. I think it's in Mil- in Danbury or Milford, mm-hmm. Milford, I think. And the show is about a bunch of different people. Some of them talk about from Russian people, mm-hmm. and the other one are Europe. What's it called? Korean. I can't say it. Ukrainian. Ukrainians. Oh, okay. And they put together a story going from one one end to the other end, mm-hmm. and and real people and real current stuff going on. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing that the way they really had a problem is because they couldn't find anybody who really knew how to spoke how to speak and translate mm-hmm. from Ukrainian stuff. Oh, really? And the lady who's running on this thing just happened to be walking mm-hmm. on the sand mm-hmm. right by the beach, and they heard some people talking. She goes, oh, my God. She goes, excuse me, could I talk to you a minute? She said, sure. She goes, do you speak Russian? She goes, no, I speak Ukrainian. (laughs) She goes, oh, that's even better. And and that's kind of the way this thing has got got started. Wow. Amazing. So... I don't know if you feel like going to see a show in Connecticut. It might be interesting. I'm going to go. Oh, okay. It sounds interesting. Yeah. yeah it's different. Yeah, yeah. 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 See how good it is. Right. So yeah. uh, let me see here. I, I, I may have just... Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm just trying to get things working here again. Please don't mind me. Uh I'm just a pain in the ass tonight, you know, because nothing works. Nothing works. But uh, we'll get the we'll get things working here. Hold on a second. I just got to look okay. at something here. What? And I got wind outside where it sounds like the it's. Oh, hold on a second. Uh. Hmm. 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 Anyway. Um. What what else do we want to talk about? Anything is there? Um, Anything else going on? You know, I was watching tonight was a documentary on them rebuilding Notre Dame Cathedral and all they've had to uh, do to, you know, to restore it. And it's really it was fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Uh, it's it, it they they've got to do it by uh, when's the, uh, uh, damn it. This thing won't do this right. God damn son of a bitch. Did you watch the new Megan and Harry thing? Yeah, well, I mentioned that we did, yeah. What did you think about it, Alex? Well, I, just, I told you about 10 minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I've been drinking. I uh, noticed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. What is that noise out there? It's like wind is going through something and causing a noise. Mm. It sounds like my wife farting in the middle of the night. Oh, it's yeah, strange. What what Charlie, did I just annoy you there? <laughs> <laughs> I think Marjorie's one of the sweetest people in the world. You just talk so bad about her. Oh well, that's my that's my way of having fun, you know. Uh, But wait a minute, folks. I can't I can't get something to work here. And uh, let me just do something. It's gonna okay. That that okay. So then, if I turn this on, this that dashboard, and then I do this, look at what it does. I, I don't. I, I give up. I give up. It just started today. I don't remember you having any trouble like that last night. Oh, I'm I'm just trying to get things working again here, and oh. uh, I'm not getting them working exactly. Most most everything is working now, but I don't know. I give up. I just give up. Yeah. 
Um, it's it's it, I, this show will probably not even be. I won't even put it up tonight, you know, because I it's just not a show. It's just me trying to put out fires. Uh, but uh, no, it was all about them uh, doing um, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. They got to get it done by 2024. And the thing burnt down in 2019. So, you know, yeah. they will have done it in pretty fast order. I mean, that thing was really destroyed. But they showed what they've had to do to, to get it back into the into shape. And they've got a lot of it done. So it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing... And it, mm. it takes a lot of artisans and restoration people. And they had to go out to the woods where the original wood came from. And chop down trees there to use those, so that it, you know, so that it, they wanted, they wanted to do it authentically. They didn't want to just do some kind of modern restoration of the thing, you know. And uh, they're using marble and all the stuff that they put into there. Did you ever go to uh, Notre Dame? Mm, I don't think so. It's, it's but this amazing. this is the kind of thing that I'm usually pretty interested in. You know, when I when I the first time I ever went there, I was walking by, I was in France for the first time, and I was walking by what apparently was this big church, and there was music coming out of it. And I looked up and I said, "God damn it, it's Notre Dame Cathedral." Hmm. So I walked in, and I don't know if you could do it now. We can't do it now because it burnt down, but I don't know if, if, if in those days you could just walk in on a Sunday. Sure. You know, so I walked in, and here is this, you know, you're inside this thing, which is just takes your breath away, and they have music playing and choirs singing, and it's this big production, and I'm sitting there going, where do I sign up to be a Catholic? <laughs> and that, you know, I, uh, and and that was my first introduction to Notre Dame Cathedral. So, mm. you know, it was uh, it was pretty cool, pretty cool. Right. Uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, you know. Was it in Paris? Huh? Was it in Paris? Well, that's where Notre Dame is. Yeah, I, I can't remember ever seeing it. So. Really? I'm sure I thought I was in Paris. You know, it's one of those kind of things that when you walk by it, you don't notice it because you're at, yeah. eye, you're at eye level, you know. But if you then look up, you go, oh, my God, it's Notre Dame Cathedral. I, that, was, that happened to me the first time I came to New York. You know, when I came to New York, I expected that all the streets were going to be huge. Mm -hmm. And they're small. And they're not. Most of the streets... The ones that go east west are are really two maybe two th lanes wide and that's it, you know. So every night I'm going home in the morning. I got off about five o'clock and I get in my car and I drive down Fifth Avenue and I drive home. I live uh, at Sixth and uh, Sixth Avenue and Fourteenth Street, and I do this for maybe a year. But I'm doing it all at eye level, right? So you don't see things going up. Hmm. And one day I look over, I'm parked, I'm stopped at a light, and I just kind of look out the window, and I look all the way up, and I went, that's the goddamn Empire State Building. <laughs> I've been passing this thing every morning for a year and never knew what it was because at street level it just looks like any other building. It's a huge building. <laughs> huge building. You know why? You know why it the first floor is like this and then it goes in and then the next floor goes up for a while and then it goes in some more and then in some more. You think that's architecture, don't you? But that is actually what New York made them do to keep the building from casting a shadow. Oh. A long shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also so King Kong could climb up it. <laughs> Did we lose uh, Brian? Yeah. Oh, I so, and that, he may be falling asleep. Could be. Let him rest. <laughs> Let him rest. He needs his rest. He bought those sleds today. Thank you. Yeah. 
Where'd you buy those sleds, by the way? Uh, Walmart. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't look like they were like from FAO Schwartz. Okay. <laughs> it didn't look. Uh, but uh, anyway, so, do, you have, do you have kids? Stepkids. You said stepkids, and but they're aren't they too old for sleds? No, not at all. Oh, These okay. kids. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll slide. I mean, they're not going to say, oh, there's my retarded stepdad who's using those sleds or anything like that. Yeah, well, they might think I'm a retarded stepdad, but other than that, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. They'll, they'll use the sleds. Well, wait a minute. Now, this is Thursday, okay? And it's oh, about 22 minutes before midnight. Why are you this drunk on a Thursday? <laughs> you know, I just I just wonder. Why not? <laughs> Alex. Yes, Brian. What do you want from me? <laughs> what did we just lost you, Brian? Yeah, I bumped this camera. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah, just has your name up there. Uh, but, uh, I wonder how many people are watching. Oh, hardly anybody's watching. So, we're not, we're, you're not embarrassing yourself. Uh, only sixteen people. Boy, hey, wow. I, I expected. Um, uh, what? I said that sixteen. That's a lot more than I expected. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, mm. Yep. 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 Uh, Particularly when you, you come in at, uh, what time did you start? Uh, oh, we just, uh, lost, we just lost Brian, I think. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Anyway, you, uh, by the uh, way, Charlie, you seen any of the, the pictures of the moon that came back? Not, let, not yet, no. Oh, man. Some I need to are, do that. Some of them are amazing. Yeah. You know, because those are the really good ones. They took with the camera in front of it, and it was like 4K. And yeah. it's just, just breathtaking. Because the, the GoPros they had on the, on the uh, antennas, or on the solar arrays, rather. Those were solar arrays, right? Uh, they didn't come back because they were left to... You know, oh, yeah. run up in the oh, Earth's atmosphere. Follow, yeah. Now, probably those pictures were also fed to something inside the the cabin, so we'll probably get to see those too. But they're pretty good, pretty good. You know, um, I saw an interview with somebody today on on YouTube who said he met up with Elon Musk and was able to spend some time with him. And he said, you know, he said, for whatever anybody wants to think about this guy, because he's kind of giving himself a lousy reputation right now. The guy said, this guy is brilliant. He said the, the things he can think of and conceive of and that he knows of are just amazing. And I've seen him in some interviews recently where he's been talking about, you know, all the stuff that they're doing to get to Mars and so on and explaining the distance between here and Mars and why there's only a, a six-month period every two years that you can actually travel to Mars. And I didn't think about this because Mars is on the other side of the sun. Yeah. I mean, you could go there, but it would take forever. Mm -hmm. So there's a six-month period. And, and just explaining stuff like that, and I'm going, you know, this guy is really smart, you know. Uh, so why is he wasting his time with fucking Twitter? What is possessing him? And this guy also said, I also began to realize this guy could do anything he set out to do. He said mm -hmm. he's just that kind of, men he has that kind of brain that can grasp almost anything. Oh, look who's, uh, are you in bed now? Or is that just your couch, Brian? Uh, I'm bed. Huh? Wow. Yeah, I'm bad. Yeah, boy, I tell you, you're putting me to sleep now. I, I'm, I'm getting <laughs> drowsy. You know, but uh, anyway, so I, I, you know, I just, I, I just wish he'd get back to his day job. You know, 
So do his, his shareholders. Well, his, his shareholders, look, they say he's not the number one money guy in the world. It's uh, who, is, who is it? It's uh, the, some guy to fashion. Arnaud in France. Uh, yeah, someday. yeah. But so how much does he have now that he's not? Well, he only has like $210 billion. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and I'm thinking, do you really feel bad about being number two if you've got $210 billion? You know, so he's down about $35 billion, I don't know, you know. But, I mean, uh, and the only reason is not because he bought uh, uh, Twitter, but because the stock for Tesla went down. Mm -hmm. um, which I would think wouldn't happen. But, you know, it does happen. So It's screwy how everything else is so dependent on stuff because... Because of how he's boxing Twitter, that's making the Tesla stock go down. Why? Well, Tesla hasn't changed. And he hasn't taken money from Tesla, has he? Maybe he did. No, no. Oh, he didn't okay. do it. You know. But I think it's because he's, his, his publicity is so bad on Twitter that people have lost faith in him. And, and so that's why they're selling their stock at losses. Yeah, yeah. Well... What the hell? One of the problems with Tesla is uh, it's a pretty cool car. And some of them are very expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they get very expensive. Um, yeah. You can buy, they have one called the Plaid, is it? It's the highest priced one, and that's something like over $100,000. Yeah. But it'll get you 500 miles, I think, to the charge. Yeah. So I mean, oh look, <clears throat> we may we may actually say good night to Brian, and he may be asleep. <laughs> yeah. God, that looks cozy, doesn't it? <laughs> in case you people uh, just tuned in, <laughs> like that will happen. Uh, 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 we had problems tonight technically, so I didn't get on till about five after eleven, and then I. Didn't even get the video going. This I'm never going to put this up. The only place you'll be able to see it is over on YouTube, the live version. Okay, and that's about it. Maybe I'll put it up tomorrow. I don't know. That's why there's so few people watching. Is because you had those problems and people gave up and went and started doing something else. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure of that. You know. Uh, but you know they could always check back if they were really loyal. Yeah, so uh, do you miss Jack's show? Yes. Yeah. Um, he'll be back maybe for early next month, I think. Fingers crossed, but uh, huh? I don't know. He was pretty depressed the last time we <laughs> talked. When did you, uh, off the air or on the air? No, this is on the air. Yeah. Last time we, we had him on the air. Well, you know, I mean, he, uh, Jack has had a bunch of medical problems. Yeah. Which are not fun. Yeah. Yeah. Know. First of all, he had uh, the uh, the spine thing where they, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Uh, yeah, we, we're still here, Brian. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you're just saying that because you're drunk. <laughs> I love you so much, Alex. I yeah. Lullaby. <laughs> and good time. Want me to read you a bedtime story? You're you're a good man. <laughs> yeah, I try. You know, I try to be. I think of you. I think of Moon Rocks. I I I think of you as Moon Rocks, Alex Bennett. Moon Rocks. Yep. Oh, here's somebody in our waiting room that just says phone, iPhone. Oh boy. You know what that might be. Let's see here for a moment because I can always get out of them fast before they try. I can get rid of them. Oh, there. Who is that? Is that Phil? Yeah. We uh, we were uh, having cigars and I'm driving. I'm on the Embarcadero in San Francisco. Uh huh. And uh, I heard you uh, say that you had, uh, you had problems tonight. It was uh, Alan 
and uh, Paul Jung and a few of us had uh, dinner and cigars. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I yeah. see. So how, how's it going? Well, I think most of my stuff is working now. You know. Yeah. Uh, what happened? I, did it break last night? No, it didn't. Did I do something? It, it, no, <laughs> it didn't. It didn't break. Uh, yeah. It, just some stuff went uh, went sideways. Yeah. You know? So. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, uh, it was my 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 lights. Yeah. Uh, I had some problems with my lights because I don't know. Do you have one of these Elgato lights? Yes, I do. So you know how they're hooked up to the Wi-Fi, and if your Wi-Fi goes screwy, it goes screwy. So then I kept. Well, I. Hmm? I actually mine's not hooked up properly to the Wi-Fi. I just turn it on uh, with a with a switch, and uh, one of these days I'll, I'll hook it up and, and you, attach you, it to that whole switch thing. You can't dim it or anything like that. No, not not until I hook it up properly. Oh, okay. All right. Well, but anyway, I uh, I just had some problems and I couldn't get it to hook hook back up on my lights. And it was taking me a half hour, and I was turning off my Wi-Fi and turning it on. And by the time I was through, I suddenly realized I was using the wrong password for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. You can, well, if you're like me, you use the same password for everything. Well, you know, not anymore. Because <clears throat> every time I, I, after a while, you use a certain password, these companies go, well, it's time for you to have a new password. Oh, well, fuck you. I don't want a new password. Maybe I don't want a yeah. password at all. You know? Yeah, exactly. You know, no, nobody wants my stuff. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We see, we're seeing reflections of, of Jeff in the, in the, uh, in, in the yeah. door. I, I turned on the overhead light in the car. But I'm on the Embarcadero at Mission Street. Oh, okay. So you, you're by yourself now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we all had a nice dinner and cigars at the cigar bar. Uh, and uh, uh, now we're heading home. I'm well, heading home. Uh, I got to admit something to you, Phil. I hate cigars. <laughs> I, feel, I feel that anybody that smokes cigars is antisocial. Well, this this place is strictly for cigar smokers. It's called the Cigar Bar. And it's uh, on Montgomery. Are Jackson they going to prevent me from going into the cigar bar if I don't want to smoke a cigar? No, they won't prevent you. Okay. But, uh, then I better not complain about it being obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Did you ever smoke, uh, Charlie? No, never smoked. Nothing. No, I mean I smoke pot. Oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> but not nic not nicotine. Not nicotine. I uh, uh, I smoked until I was forty. Yeah. Take the next right onto Harrison Street. <laughs> yeah. Gee, that Can reminds. You hear my GPS? Yeah, I heard your GPS. First GPS. Yeah. I was one of the first people ever to have a GPS. Uh, yeah, I, I got one in my first Acura that I bought, or that I leased actually, and uh, it was uh, it was something. People were amazed. Like they, I, I'd say, "I'll come over and see you. Come to your house," and they go, uh, "You want me to give you directions?" I said, "No, just give me your address." Well, in '98, I had a Mercedes C230, mm -hmm. and I got a GPS installed in it. Uh, that didn't come with it. And my daughter was maybe four or five years old. And uh, the GPS would say, turn left, turn right. And she says, uh, she says to the GPS while uh, we're riding in the car, will you be my friend? <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> well, mine, mine was so new, the, new, new that the voice had yeah. a Japanese accent. Wow. Yeah. I, I put on the English accent, and because uh, I got tired of uh, the regular one. Well, no, you but, can have a female, uh, either English or American, or. No, well, I just uh, never wondered. I always wondered why they didn't have celebrities doing the voices on GPSs. You know, like that's true. Like, like you know, uh, 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 what's his name who played Picard, uh, Stewart. Uh, yeah. It, it, saying you know. 
turn left here, make it so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I would pay for, I would pay extra for that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, one time uh, when I had a uh, answering machine, I asked you if you would uh, do my outgoing answering machine message, but I never got around to having you do it. Hmm. But uh, you, were, you said you would be happy to do it. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be happy to do it, but I'd do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there I am. Now I'm getting on the bridge. How many times have you gone over that bridge, Phil? Oh, a gazillion times, but this direction is the Willie Brown Bridge. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, do you really need the GPS on to tell you how to get home? Uh, you know, yeah. It's not that I need the GPS. It's just uh, easier. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. Whose ceiling is that? What? Oh, that's uh, Brian. That's I, Brian. I Brian is a little uh, uh, in his cups tonight, as they say, you know? Yeah. And he's uh, he's um, uh, doing a little dr he's been doing a little drinky poo tonight. So. Oh. And then, oh, he, then it, it, in a drunken stupor, he went out and bought sleds. So. Right? Sleds. What's a, sled? Sle what's a sled? Yeah. You mean a the thing you ride on in the snow? Yeah. Well, Did I haven't been on a sled since I was 12. Well, Brian has them, if you want one. Pretty neat. Yeah. Hey, you know, is it snowing by you? No, it's not snowing here. It, it's raining like hell tonight. Wow. Uh, but it, yeah, I don't right think it's... What, oh, the temperature is forty-one degrees, so we're not going to. It's not going to be snowing, you know. Oh, it's fifty-one on the Bay Bridge. Yeah, uh, 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 Brian. Brian, what's the temperature where you are? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. How about you, Charlie? What's the temperature where you are? Forty-five. What are you doing? Looking at your uh, at your echo? It's on the the. Um, Bottom right on my computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 do you know what the temperature is where you are up in Connecticut? 36 degrees. 36 Outside. Degrees. So it's it's 36 there. Oh, okay. damn cold. Yeah, well, it's it's getting cold. It's getting that time of the year. I mean, last mm -hmm. night it was uh, pretty cold. And tonight I had like a, I thought I was coming down with a cold. I was just sniffling like crazy. But apparently it's just the weather's causing it, you know. So. Yeah. And then I, uh, you know, I had some technical problems, which is a wonderful thing. What is that? Yeah, just the lights. What? Just the lights was a technical problem. Yeah, basically. Yeah, but it was enough to keep me from going on. You know. Just... You used to do it with a lamp on your uh, on your desk. Well, yeah. Those were in the days when I wasn't really thinking about doing this in video. You know, so whatever. Yeah. 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 What is that picture? That Alan keeps calling me. <laughs> oh, okay. What is that picture? That's like a, a Buddha. Oh, that's probably my finger. No, that's, that's a very, his arm. It's a very fat a baby. Yeah. It's a very fat baby, and he's covering oh. what whatever his goods are with that little thing. But Brian is sending us all kinds of photographs and everything. Well, you know, I think I'm gonna. Call the uh, take uh, bring this thing to kind of an end here. I just did it because, yeah. hey, I got nothing else to do with my miserable, pathetic life, and I like to see Jeff and I like to see Charlie, you know, and yeah. and, and yeah. Brian. Unfortunately, you get to see me. <laughs> what a fucking bonus that was. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow I got the sheriff's posse Christmas dinner. Really? But, uh, yeah, but I ordered the steak. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, all right. Anyway, let me see here. Let me see. Do I have a, a theme I can put on here? Yeah, I can put this on. There we go. Here, that's the theme. Hey, thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you, Charlie. I really appreciate it. You're always there for me, Charlie. Brian, thank you. And, and uh, 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 Phil, always nice to see you, too. 
Anyway, everybody you. give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There we go. Yeah. That's our Take citizen care. panel for tonight, uh, and uh, we'll be back in tomorrow night with a regular show. This thing, I think, I'm not going to put up. It's only going to be on YouTube on the... Uh, where we put up uh, the the show automatically goes up, okay? Anyway, see you again tomorrow night. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, yeah, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.